Hey everybody, this is Joey Panic here with What is Trending. Listen people, this is an exciting week. There is a zoo in China that was trying to replace some of the animals in their exhibits with other animals. Zoo goers were alerted there was an issue when the lion exhibit started to bark at them. Yes, it was replaced by a mastiff dog. Honestly people, who thinks that they can pass off a dog as another animal? I mean, people are just too smart nowadays. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't get too close to the lions as they will attack. Now this is also on the heels of a big trend in China where they are painting their dogs to look like other animals. Are there no other animals in China? Is this the issue? Ladies and gentlemen, the elephant rides will be open momentarily. This was a big week for pop fans with Lady Gaga releasing her new applause single, going head to head with Katy Perry's Roar single. Both songs really benefit from their videos. In Lady Gaga's video, we're seeing more of Lady Gaga without all of the costuming. I mean, of course you have to give her some comforts when she paints her face like Cirque du Soleil. And Katy Perry's video is told almost entirely through emoji. Fans are defending their favorite pop diva, but it looks like Katy Perry edged above the Gaga with the number of views this week. In other news, Avril Lavigne has released her new video, which has her kissing Winnie Cooper from The Wonder Years, causing Kevin Arnold to flip out. If you're a True Blood fan and you have not seen the end of season six, skip ahead, because I've got a spoiler coming. True Blood wrapped up season six in what was pretty much the worst season to date of the show. And listen, I'm a True Blood fan from way back. I held on a lot longer than some of the rest of you. And I gotta say, I don't know what happened. I do know that they ended the season by killing off Eric Northman, played by the tall and lovely Alexander Skarsgård. I heard my name. I hope you were speaking well of me. But not before he showed full frontal. Now there are reports that Eric will actually be back and will still be a series regular in the next season. What does this poor guy have to do to get off of this sinking ship? He already showed his nuts. This was a weird week for genitalia, and I'll tell you why. Last week, CNN reported that the Paco fish, which is kind of the cousin to the piranha, was actually biting swimmers' testicles off the coast of Denmark and Sweden, which caused every man on the internet to go, <laughs> well, it turns out it was a joke. The Paco fish does not actually bite the testicles, it has very flat teeth, which actually sounds worse. But that is one of those things that you just cannot unhear. In other genitalia news, a man was treated at the hospital for shoving a fork up his penis. I don't even know if I have anything to say to that. Like, I'm, I was hoping it was by accident, but as you read further, you find out that this was on purpose, and it's not the first time it happened. Thankfully, the picture that goes along with the trending article is an x-ray. But apparently there is a link where you can see pictures of the removal, to which I say, no thank you. All right, everybody, that was it. That was this week. What a strange week. I don't know if it was the blue moon. I don't know if it's Labor Day. I have no clue. But listen, luckily you don't have to brave the internet alone. We're here. My baby, are you mad about all of those costumes that you had to wear? She's a little upset. I'll go get her some kibble or something. She'll be fine. Just a belly rub. She'll be good. Incidentally, I am selling organic honey made from local bees, if anyone's interested. Fresh milk, anyone? The monkey exhibit does cost extra and is not included in your admission. <laughs>